So I've never had raw cow's milk before, and in this video we're going to do a side-by-side -side taste test comparing the raw cow's milk to the store-bought pasteurized milk. So stick around to see my genuine reaction. So I just had Katie go into the other room so that I can pour out the milk in these two, two different mason jars here so that she doesn't know which one's which. We can see if she'll be able to guess. So I'm going to first start with the, the raw milk. Very interesting. Well, we'll see what she thinks. Okay, keep your eyes closed and we're gonna show the people which one. So that's, how do I say this? The one that's in front of is, is the one she's gonna be trying first. So here we go. This is, a, this is unnerving. <laughs> I promise you I'm giving you milk. It's, it's one of the, it's, it's the pasteurized or unpasteurized. So let's see what you think. That's the store bought milk. Why? Why do you think that? Um, it's familiar. Okay, let's grab the other one. Let's see if you change your mind. Wow. Yep, that's definitely raw milk. You can open your eyes. So why do Wow. You... It is so thick. Look at that, it's leaving wherever I swirl it, it stays. Yeah. Compared to this. Just so thin and watery. So so what was the first thing that hit you that made you say wow? It's foamy, it's creamy, it's thick. It like stays with you. <laughs> like there's like a, a coating on my tongue and in my mouth. Yeah, I can only describe it as creamy, buttery, kind of reminds me of like heavy whipping cream. Like it's that consistency, that thick. And then side by side, it's so different. Like this is like water with a little bit of flavor. So like the raw one is just much more rich. Yeah, it's super rich. Like I could, I could drink a whole glass of this. Fine. I probably wouldn't take that. Like I wouldn't drink that much of this because it's really thick. How about? Oh, did, I noticed when I poured it out that the raw was like more like yellow, or not yellow, but like. Yeah. Well, this is more of a pure white, and this definitely has more of a off-white, creamy, yeah, creamy color. Yeah. But. I definitely don't mind it. It honestly tastes sweeter than this. Does it? Yeah, it has kind of a little bit. Again, it reminds me of butter. It's it's like not salty, but kind of a Swedish creamy. I don't know. Like it would be really good as whipped cream. <laughs> it doesn't. It doesn't taste anything like it. Like it's it's its own thing. That's the interesting part. Cool. But I just can't believe the difference. Like how. Here, let's see if I can get. Yeah, it's a little hard to see co uh, color wise, but. I mean, if you look straight down into it, you can see one's white and one's more of a yellowish shoe. Yeah. Yeah, so we got the raw here and the store bought there. All right, time for Joey to try. I don't really love milk. Well, maybe you'll like this. All right, Joey's in the tasting seat. <laughs> can I just try the raw milk? No, you need a comparison. I, 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 just take a, ti a tiny little sip. I don't like milk too much. <laughs> I know you do. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> It really doesn't taste like the same thing. No, it tastes totally different. Okay, so I don't like the store-bought, like the taste of it. It like tastes straight. fake. Yeah, tastes I, like I don't like it. This, honestly, I feel like there's not as much of an overwhelming taste to it. Really? Like, I definitely got a creaminess. Maybe I didn't have enough. See, I thought that that had more taste than the store-bought. See, I could get into that a little bit more. Yeah. Yeah. It kind of almost is like a dessert, kind of like it's that rich. And yeah, I, I mean the richness of it is really, uh, uh, it's nice. Yeah. It does kind of put that coating in your yeah, mouth. Yeah, you got a little, little something yeah. left behind. Yeah. Uh, we were able to find raw cow's milk cheese and then the your regular cheese, so we want to show you, we'll just cut that up and see if we can distinguish between Maybe the this, two. I think this time around I'm going to have Joey do the blind test. He'll have to see which oh, one's yeah? which. Yeah. Okay, let's get it. All right, let's go do it. So I've got the two different types of cheeses here. This is made with raw cow's milk and this one's made with pasteurized milk. Just, I think I got it from Shaw's and this is from a local dairy farm. So I'm gonna have Joey close his eyes. I'm gonna cut this up and feed it to him and see if he can tell which one's the raw and which one's the pasteurized cheese. Mm. 
All right, so Joey's <laughs> keeping his eyes closed. There he is there. And here's our two types of cheeses. So we put it in I'm front ready. of the proper one. What are you saying? I'm ready for my cheese. <laughs> okay, I cut the cheese for you. Thank you for that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna give him this one first. Oh no, I'm feeding you, what are you doing? Oh really? Oh yeah. Okay, here. <laughs> so that's the first one. It's delicious, because <laughs> I love cheese. <laughs> He's a big cheese guy. Mmm. <laughs> I'm gonna guess that this is the uh, pasteurized, the, the cheese made with the pasteurized milk. Okay. Uh, that's my guess. It, it, it has good flavor. Okay, I'm ready. Alright, this is the next one we're gonna give him. <clears throat> Are right, you ready? Yep. Okay. <laughs> Here's the next one. The first one was actually a little creamier, and I'm pretty sure that this is the, the, the one made with the raw. But honestly, the unpasteurized cheese was a little richer. It's but good. Both are both are good. Flavor, right? That's just the flavoring. Of Maybe, it. but I feel like it's just stronger of a cheese in general, like mm. it besides the smoke flavor. Yeah. So I think what we're coming down to is really the milks, like themselves, are you can really tell. But I wonder, like the cheese, I don't know if I could really tell too much if it wasn't for the different flavoring. So I know there's lots of nutritional benefits to drinking raw cow's milk versus the store-bought milk because they have to pasteurize this milk and bring it up to a certain temperature. I think about 160 degrees and while doing that it kills not only the bad bacteria but also the good bacteria that this is able to still keep because they don't do that process. And then as for the bad bacteria when it comes to the raw cow's milk that entirely depends on the environment that the cow is in. So if you pick a dairy farm that has clean stalls, no manure, the cow is kept clean and healthy and it's fed good grass, good quality food, then you're not going to have to worry about the bad bacteria because it won't be there or it won't be a problem. Yeah, it's not It's not from the actual milk. It's exactly. So it's all about the environment. Yeah. So as for the cost differences with these items, there is a significant difference. A regular store-bought pasteurized gallon of milk goes for about $4 and a half gallon of raw cow's milk like this one goes for about $5.50. So if you wanted to get a whole gallon of this, it would be almost triple the cost of this. So that's something definitely to consider. And then same thing goes for the cheese in front here. This raw cow's milk cheese is about is $10. And then this one is at about two to three dollars to get the pasteurized cheese. So again, a triple to quadruple difference in that. So that's something to consider when you're you know deciding if you want to make the splurge to have more nutritional benefits to your diet. Um, but for us, we both like this better than this. We like the taste better. And so I think for us, we probably will make that splurge on this. So it's really up to you and what you guys want to do with your diet and what you want to splurge on to give yourselves more nutritional value and have less food that comes from factories and is sent through machines and just to get back to the basics of just it came from the animal, it came from that family farm where it was a clean environment and the cow was out on pasture. That's what we like to go towards. So hope you guys like this video. Hope it helps you and inspires you to maybe give it a try. And other than that, we'll see you guys in the next video. Okay, so Katie's gonna cut the cheese. I'm gonna cut the cheese. <laughs> um, That's not supposed to look seductive. Oh, sorry. <laughs>